Hi, I'm Nathan with this week's Science and Tech News. A solar-powered airplane is taken off from Dubai. It's attempting the first flight around the world without fuel. The Solar Impulse 2 is a single-seat plane with an impressive wingspan of over 200 feet. It weighs 5,000 pounds and is covered in 17,000 solar cells. These cells collect sunlight and convert it into energy. The plane is a top speed of about 90 miles per hour and it can reach 27,000 feet in the air. Even if it doesn't go all the way around the world, the Solar Impulse 2 is looking to revolutionize airplanes and pave the way for eco-friendly, renewable energy. Scientists believe the fuel we use today pollutes the Earth and causes global warming. Clean technology, like the Solar Impulse 2, may decrease pollution and can even save companies money. Now to space, where NASA's Dawn probe has become the first spacecraft to orbit a dwarf planet. That planet is Ceres in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are big rocks that hurtle through space, and the asteroid belt is filled with these minor planets. The biggest of them is Ceres, but it's still small enough to be a dwarf planet. NASA's Dawn will map Ceres' surface and inspect weird bright spots that are likely ice or salt. As for the biggest dwarf planet in the solar system, that honor belongs to Eris, which is estimated to be 27% more massive than Pluto. That's the icy X planet that was downgraded in 2006. My only question is, do all these dwarf planets follow around Snow White? Now we plunge into the darkest bowels of the Earth, where cave explorers recently discovered silver coins over 2,000 years old. They're imprinted with the image of Alexander the Great, one of the greatest conquerors of all time. At the age of 31, he ruled a vast empire from Greece to Egypt, reaching as far as India. This week, members of the Israeli caving club squeezed into a stalactite-filled cave where they stumbled upon two ancient coins. On one side was Alexander the Great's face, and the other had Zeus, the Greek god of sky and thunder. Archaeologists checked out the cave afterwards, unearthing pottery and evidence that humans lived there 6,000 years ago. If we don't go after that treasure, it's gonna haunt us the rest of our lives, and you know it. Another long-lost discovery was made beneath a Paris supermarket, where 200 human skeletons from between the 12th and 17th centuries were uncovered. Workers found the underground graveyard while renovating the grocery store. Apparently, a hospital used to sit where the supermarket is now. To determine how old the remains are, scientists tested the skeleton's DNA and used carbon dating. Carbon dating uses radioactive power to measure the carbon dioxide in the bones. Scientists are still trying to find out what caused the deaths. Long ago, Paris ran out of room in its graveyards because of several terrible plagues, so bodies were buried in underground catacombs. 